Deezer Toxic by M. Mikalev. This thing blew my mind every time I put it on legitimately. I have not put it on once and just felt meh about it. I always like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I still really, really like it. I have it on my hand, freshly sprayed two minutes ago before I click record on this camera and it's fantastic, man. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all the nuances you need to know about this fragrance and how amazing it is. My experience with it for the past week. So yeah, let's jump into this. Yo, what's up guys, Tim, welcome back to another video. And today we have a review of This Year Toxic by M. Mikalev. And this one to me, super, super interesting DNA. I love everything about it so far. It has a lot of freshness off the opening with the bergamot, with the lemon, and with the cardamom as well. The cardamom in this case is like a ninja cardamom. It just hides a little bit behind the citrus. You get the fresh spiciness that comes across from it, but if you don't, smell really close you won't be able to find it but the influence from that note is definitely there so yeah ninja cardamom and my favorite part about this fragrance is when it starts to dry down a little bit you start to get that really nice blast of black currant you get that in the opening as well but it comes to the forefront a lot more as it dries down to the mid and it comes across juicy it's juicy it's dark it's rich it has cannabis in here as well that adds a little bit of a green tinge a little bit of a green darkness not so much just a touch but it's there it also has cinnamon in here oh, man and the cinnamon that's the star really that's the star that ties everything together the cinnamon as the spiciness the smooth spiciness and if you're wondering where the mass appeal factor of this fragrance is coming from it's coming from the cinnamon the cinnamon in the air just makes the fragrance feel warm and the spiciness very piercing and attention grabbing it drags people in and the use of that note alongside the other ingredients just smells just sexy it's just so well blended together and that's one thing i can tell you about this fragrance is that it smells very high quality you smell the fragrance and you can kind of pick out the each individual notes but no one notes come across very harsh or rough on the edges it smells very smooth, very well done. You can tell it was made by someone who's highly skilled and to me, wonderful conversation. In terms of the vibe of this fragrance, what vibe does this fragrance give off? It gives off a very gentlemanly, classy, because it has that kind of classic, nearly vintage style DNA, not a dated type of vintage, so not powerhouse kind of a old school like that. It has some vintage masculine DNA, very easy going, but at the same time, some modern sweetness to add that just a touch of that modern sexy sweetness. It's just a super, super well done fragrance. And when you smell this for the first time, you will be a little bit blown away. I, I can guarantee you that much. You will be a little bit blown away of just how easy it is to put on. You smell this and you're like, yeah, I wanna wear this. I mean, I would wear this every day. You know a lot of niche fragrances, the downside to them is that when you smell them sometime, you're like, yeah, that's fantastic. I love it. And then you put it on your shelf and you're like, I'll never wear it. <laughs> I'm sure we have a ton of those bottles, especially if you're a collector. But with this one, you want to wear this. This is actually sitting with my designer fragrances in my whole collection, in my wardrobe. I have my niche and designer separated. This one is sitting with my designer fragrance because I reach for it very, very often. I don't want to have to dig through my niche to find this. I actually wear this a lot and I love every time I put this on. So yeah, classy, gentlemanly, modern sweetness, modern sexiness is what you can find in this DNA as well. And what really attributes to kind of like the old schoolness is the Okmas. The Okmas, the Bensuin, they're both very kind of grounded notes. There's warm, slightly bit creaminess. The Okmas brings in just a little bit of that old school touch. Like I said, again, never too much. So yeah, there's that. So scent wise, I love this. I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. It's just one of the more, <laughs> it, to me, it kind of saved 2020. Yeah, this and another fragrance that was released by another brand that I'll talk about later on in future videos. 
save 2020 for me because 2020 did not produce a lot of great fragrances. For me, this is one of the fragrances that <laughs> I'm glad I discovered this year. Now, let's move on to performance. Performance of this fragrance is nice. It's really nice. It sits around the five to seven hour range, which is not spectacular. It's not beastly. It's just nice. Would I like it to last a little bit longer? Seeing that it's like a fall and winter time type fragrance, I would say, yeah, I wish it lasts a little bit longer but no complaints really from that department because it's just, you know, five, seven hours. It's a work day, so really can't complain there. Projection wise, this sits around the shoulder area. It's more personal, it's more reserved, and I think it fits the theme of this fragrance really well because for a fragrance that comes across sexy, classy gentlemen, you don't want it to project way too loud because that's not very gentlemanly. A fragrance that should project loud are like the clubbing fragrance, the juvenile, fun, extrovert, I'm gonna go party, I'm gonna pick up girls. Those fragrances, I understand having loud projection, it makes sense. But with this one, as long as it projects enough, like shoulder lengths like this, I have no problem with it. That's my personal opinion, of course. But yeah, performance on this one, I would say it is just nice, it's workable, it's practical, but it's not spectacular. Next, let's talk about versatility for this fragrance. I would say that um, you're not gonna offend anyone wearing this, man, not at all. So occasion-wise, you can wear this pretty much any time, but if you want to fit the general vibe of this fragrance, I would say wear it on a date, wear it to a suit and tie event, any formal events, anytime where you dress up a little more, maybe a high class dinner or something like that. You can even wear this to work as well. So yeah, if you want to fit the vibe of this fragrance, wear it in a more official situation or a date situation. Other than that, you can wear this pretty much anytime as your signature scent for the fall and winter time if you want to do that because it's just so nice, it's clean, it's sexy, you're not gonna offend anyone at all with this one. In terms of season, fall time, winter time, spring time, summer time, maybe not, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, there's a lot of spices in here, there's a lot of warmth and rich notes in here, so maybe not in the summertime, but any other season does fine. Age range, I would say this one is definitely 25 plus. I do not see anyone lower than 25 wearing this. So yeah, 25 plus, if you're in college or high school, might not be for you. And the price point as well, not super uh, college or high school friendly, so yeah. Definitely 25 plus. Now on to my favorite part, the summary slash the cons. Yes, I'll go over what I don't like about this fragrance as well. And the only thing I don't like about this one is the dry down. The dry down for me can come across a little bit on the mild side, a little bit bland, I guess, in comparison to the opening and the mid. But the dry down doesn't really come in until like past three or past four hour mark. So it's not really a huge deal. I still love this fragrance. I still wear it really often. So yeah, don't let that deter you. I'm just here to tell you since this is a full review, I have to mention, of course, the cons as well too. You know, give you guys a really well-rounded image of this fragrance. All right, that's it for the review of M. Mikalev's This Year Toxic. I would say a summary is that if you like classic style fragrances, if you like Oakmas, you like Benson, you like that kind of clean masculine DNA, but you want some modern touches, some sexiness to it, some sweetness, I would say this one is a really, really nice pick. It's super high quality, it's highly wearable as well. You're gonna get a lot of use out of this. Performance is good as well. So yeah, it is a solid, solid choice if you like this DNA. If you like fragrances like YSL Opium or The Toilette by Yves Saint Laurent, this is gonna be right up your alley because they do have a little bit of similarities in the black current or the general vibe of the fragrance. But yeah, if you like that, you're absolutely gonna like this one. Now for the final score of this one, I'm gonna rank it in tiers. S tier being super mega all-stars, super amazing fragrance, and F tier being just don't even try it, it's not worth it. This one is gonna land very comfortably in B tier, yeah, I'm gonna give it B tier. There's some downside with the dry down on this one. Performance is just nice, it's not the best. So it can make A tier if the performance was better. So yes, B tier for me all the way. Really nice stuff right here, check it out. All right guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know down below if you already tried this, what are your thoughts on it? comment down below. And also, if you're gonna try it out or not, let me know as well. Check out M. Mikalev, link in the description below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, bye.